Hi there, I'm Toni Reese, and welcome to My Life Lessons, featuring stories from immigrants. And today, I have Diana with me. Welcome Hello. to this very special project. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Great, so let's go right into it, okay? When did you immigrate to the United States, and what country are you from? Uh, I am from Mexico, from uh, Mexico City, and I immigrated in 2003 with my mom, and then my dad migrated in 2002, 2001. And what was the reason? Um, my dad had a lot of problems in Mexico, and um, it was actually by accident. He wasn't supposed to come here, but uh, he was helping a friend, and he decided, and that friend decided not to actually like. He didn't have like enough courage to actually cross. So my dad already paid the money, and when I was like, you know what, I might as well just go and try it out. And my dad tried it out, and he got in here like a second, third try. Um, and then um, we started having problems in Mexico as well. So they were like, why don't we come over? So we just came over, like just, I guess, for a better life in a way. Mm -hmm. um, but it was mostly by accident. <laughs> Did you find it to be an easy process, or even with the stories of your parents? Um, it was e easy in like what way? Like just coming over? Right. So the whole immigration process, was it easy for them or? Um, no, it was not easy for them. Um, my mom got lost in the desert. And, you know, like she had a lot of things like going against her, you know, the heat, um, her shoes, she, uh, she twisted her ankle, uh, a lot of things. For me, it was really easy because I went house to house. Um, I was already over, like, over here in the United States like a week or two before she even got here. Um, so I was safe and I stayed with like the same people over and over again. And um, with my dad, it was harder because he did get uh, like detained and then he got back and he went again and he got detained again and he came back. So like, he tried like river, he tried um, like forest, but and here eventually he did desert and he was able to get here. And he immediately came to Pennsylvania and then, but it was, it was pretty hard for them. Oh, it sounds like yeah. it's quite a journey. <laughs> so from your perspective, mm -hmm. okay, where do you find your greatest inspiration being here in the United States? Uh, my greatest inspiration would have to be my dad, my parents, both my parents. How so? Um, because they, they, what, like, they went through this journey, uh, you know, to also give me a better life as well, you know. And uh, my dad, every single day, he pushes me to do better. And seeing him work so hard for me to succeed and seeing how proud he is of me. And like, I, it, like I, I can't imagine growing up without my dad, um, being separated from him from here and there. So my greatest inspiration would have to be with my parents because even if we weren't here, I'm pretty sure they would have like, raised me the same way over there and they would have tried to got, gotten the best for me, the best lifestyle for me as they could. So if you think to date, mm -hmm. okay, what do you think your greatest life lesson would be to date? To date, my, uh, I've learned a lot. Um, it would have to be to keep moving forward. Okay. Um, I, not to look back as to what already happened because that can stop you from doing things that you want to do. So, sorry, I, I, can't, ex I can't explain no, it. No, that it's sounds, it's, can you give me an example of, of what that means? How have you um, used that lesson to move you forward here? Um, well, with the recent politics, um, my parents tell me, don't look about, don't look at the election. Don't think about it. Continue living your life like it's normal because you, you are like the new generation. You have DACA, you have something to help you with. You have something to rely yourself on. So just, just continue living your life like, you're, like you do now. Go to college, try to do the best you can. And don't like linger on the things that could happen, like you know, getting deported or um, having my parents, you know, like leave because I can still stay here and continue on. Mm -hmm. So like that's always been like sm like small little things, like my you know, like when you're s when you're young, you do a lot of stupid stuff, like younger. Um, so my dad would just be like, don't worry about what happened. What happened happened, mm -hmm. and then just continue like going forward and seeing, and l like living like living life like there's. I'm sorry, it's really hard for me to explain. Uh, I get tongue-tied. No, 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 you're doing a beautiful job. <laughs> it sounds as though it's, it's not looking backwards, looking forward. Yes. Okay, and not telling stories in your head of what could happen, but focus on what is happening. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, those were, you gave me that. Okay, so how do you stay connected to your country's traditions here in, this, in the States? Um, I, I love eating. 
I love to eat. <laughs> it's something that's my favorite thing. So my mom's always making food from her country. Um, I like my mom and my dad. They both cook. I stay connected like that. We go to events like um, like the Independence Day in Philadelphia. We go to that. Uh, we watch all the soccer games together. We try to do everything we can. We talk with our with our sibling, with my aunts and uncles and my grandma back in Mexico. Um, we Skype. So uh, that's pretty much it. It's just mo the only way I can actually feel it is by my mom telling me her stories mm -hmm. of how she grew up and my dad telling me how he grew up as well. But until I actually go there, I, I can't get that full feeling yet. But so one day. <laughs> the favorite food? Yes. Yeah. Food. <laughs> so what is the favorite food? Um, I don't, you know, tortas, they're like a sandwich, but like a really, really big sandwich. Okay. Um, I like the steak ones. Oh. They have like avocados, they have tomatoes, they have onions. Sounds, Sounds really gorgeous. Really <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what has surprised you the most about being here in the United States? Um, what has surprised me the most? I, r I really have nothing to compare it to mm -hmm. as much as my knowledge. Um, but how free it is and how, how I'm able to do a lot of things easier. Um, I'm able to travel to like states easier than like if it was in Mexico because here you have like financially you're better off here. So I'm able to go to different states and like if you were in Mexico you couldn't because you didn't necessarily have the money to like pay for it like a bus or anything. It's, it's easier to get a car here. Um, it's easier to, to do a lot of things. So I like that it's free and that I can express myself in a, as much as I can. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, like I said, I have nothing to compare it to, but that's what I like. Well, this is strictly from your perspective, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, these are amazing answers. So what has brought you the greatest joy being here in the United States? Um, uh, I guess my, in, in a way, again, my family, because now I have two sisters. Uh, the friends that I made and the opportunities that I was able to have, um, you know, I'm able to come to college. I'm able to further my education. Uh, I was able to, like, I was allowed permission to actually go to a different country with, with DACA. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go because it came a little too late. But just knowing that they would have accepted me and I would have gone, that's it's just amazing. Um, and me meeting all the cool people and uh, being able to experienced a lot of events like I was able to go to like some concerts here and there and like um, to like some uh, conventions and uh, like all those type of events I, I really like I really like going out and ex exploring what is out there so and you get to yeah you get to <laughs> final question mm -hmm. if you could describe in one sentence what being here means to you what would it be um, okay it means the world to me because it is my world it's it's everything that I've lived up to is made here in this country like I'm more in a sense I'm, I'm more American because this is my country this is where I grew up at in um, so I guess I guess that could be my you know that's an awesome <laughs> answer thank you for no being problem. part of this really important project and thank you for taking your time today to be with us. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> These life lessons are made possible in part by Lions and Hole site contractors and by White Star Tours.